Dear students, I will explain how to dry a glass test tube. First of all, heat this way, slightly rotate this so that if there is any moisture inside the test tube, the water droplets should come out. This way, test tube is dry. Now you see, my test tube is absolutely dry. Now I will explain chemical decomposition reaction to you. Decomposition reactions are those reactions in which a single substance decomposes to give two or more simpler substances. And the decomposition of a substance can be carried out in the presence of a heat known as thermal decomposition. When the decomposition of a substance is carried out in the presence of a light that is called photochemical decomposition. When decomposition of a substance is carried out in the presence of electricity this is called electrolytic decomposition. First of all I will explain thermal decomposition means decomposition of a substance in the presence of a heat. For this I am taking lead nitrate crystalline solid. This is a hard dry glass test tube. I have taken small quantity of lead nitrate. When lead nitrate is heated it decomposes to give residue lead oxide known as lethargy which is reddish brown when hot and yellow when cold along with the brown colored gas NO2 and the colorless gas oxygen. So I will perform this. Now, small quantity of lead nitrate solid I have taken in a dry hard glass test tube. Now, I will heat this and this is a delivery tube. The function of the delivery tube is to carry the gas molecules. Now, I am fixing delivery tube so that when the gas would be produced, that can be tested. Now, in this test tube, I have taken acidified ferrous sulfate solution now I will heat this. This solid when heated, it produces decrepitation noise and the residue partially fuses with the glass. Now you see the residue lead oxide. It is reddish brown when hot. On cooling, it becomes yellow. Can you see the brown fumes? And these fumes are of nitrogen dioxide gas. Now, brown colored gas NO2 I am passing through a test tube containing acidified ferrous sulfate. I am passing gas through the acidified ferrous sulfate. Now you see when we pass nitrogen dioxide gas to acidified ferrous sulfate solution solution turns black. Now you see the black color. This confirms the presence of nitrogen dioxide gas produced during the reaction. So, residue is reddish brown when hot and yellow when cold. Nitrogen dioxide gas is confirmed by passing through acidified by ferrous sulfate solution. Now you can see the black color and the decomposition of lead nitrate is completed.